and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial with my new palette. Just, just a little friend, you know. It's the Master Palette by Mario. This palette, let me tell you, is hands down probably one of my favorite palettes that I own. I love this palette so much. It comes with 12 different shades. So Anastasia Beverly Hills collaborated with Mario in creating his own master palette. And if you don't know who Mario is, then you definitely should. <laughs> he is most famously known for doing Kim Kardashian's makeup. And we always know that, you know, her makeup looks flawless all the time. And it's just amazing. And he creates so many, like, amazing looks for her and so many other women out there. And I just think that he's, like, he's just one of my inspirations. He's just someone that I look up to in the, like, the makeup industry. So having a master palette by him is pretty awesome. He also does master classes, so I think that's like funny they call it the master palette because like you know, he does like master classes to like show like everybody out there how to do makeup. I've been waiting for this palette for so long and I'm so happy to show you guys some looks that I've created. I can tell you right now if you see more than one video about the master palette on my channel it's because I love it so much and I want to show you guys all the looks that I created. If you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos, for more tutorials, and more Mario palette, just all that awesome goodness, good, good stuff. Yeah. There'll be a floaty button around over here, it's probably already gone, <laughs> with the subscribe button and you can just click on here or if you're on a mobile device then you can click, I think it's somewhere down over here uh, where there's a subscribe button, just click that, it's for free and you will always know when I post a video. So if you want to learn how to get this look then just keep on watching. First thing I'm going to be doing is priming my lids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm going to be starting off with the lid and then lightly bringing it up more so that the shadows will stick. Next I'm going to be setting the lids with Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder and this is just going to give an overall like flawless finish once we go and start applying the eyeshadows. It's just going to, you know, glide on way better. The first color I'm going to be taking is this color called Lula. It's a really nice light brown shade and I like to use it as, I call it my shadow base um, before my transition color. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm just taking a, like a regular shadow brush and just putting it right into my crease. Next I'm taking the color Isabel, which is going to be my transition shade. Usually, typically like those orangey, like burnt orange colors are really nice for transition shades because it really helps, uh, you know, blend out the colors well. It helps like bring out those reds or those browns and everything like that. So that is what I chose for my transition color. Next I'm taking Marina, which is a really pretty champagne color with a metallic finish. I just sprayed a little bit of Fix Plus on it because I really want the shadows to stick onto my lids and not have like a ton of fallout. So I'm just putting that right on my lids as you can see. Next I'm taking the color Kim and I'm just placing that right in the corner of my crease. So next up is the color Muse which is a rose gold color and I am a, totally obsessed with this color let me tell you. <laughs> So I'm just using that to blend out my outer corners. So I'm taking this color first and then I'm going to go in with another color after just to darken it up a little bit more. I'm taking the color NYC and I'm going to be placing that right at the outer corners and I'm not bringing it up towards my eyes, I'm not bringing it in the crease. I'm going to bring it more towards the lower lash line just to smoke out a little bit of the outer corners. Thank you. 
Now I'm taking the color Hollywood and just placing that in my inner corner. I think this is like the perfect inner corner color. I absolutely love it. And now I'm taking Claudia, which is this really nice dark color. And I'm just like lightly putting that below my lashes uh, just to give a nice smoky effect because it is sort of kind of inspired by Kim and you know she loves her smoky eyes. <laughs> And then I also applied, it was either NYC or Muse, I'm so sorry guys, I forget which one it was, but I also added that as well so it wasn't as like super harsh and it kind of blended in more with the look. I did it. I'm pretty sure my wings are looking pretty good right now. Okay, okay. So pause, hold on a second, I'm going to talk for like two seconds because I didn't film this on camera and I just wanted to tell you real quick what I used. So I use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner and this stuff is like great, I really love this. I just did that with an angled brush for my eyeliner and then I also used the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes and I just lined my waterline real quick um, just to like smoke it out like a little bit more, this look, you know? Yeah. So for this last part of this look, I'm going to be using my mascara, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lashes. I am totally obsessed with this, and Kim uses it too. Mario uses this all the time on her, which I think is awesome. Right, woo! So I just put on my Ardell Wispies, um, and like, boy, is there like a difference when you put on lashes. You just feel so much more like glammed up with lashes. I love it. <laughs> also, I just want to point out that I did get new lash glue. I mean, I usually have like the squeeze easy tube ones but I tried the duo um, adhesives with just like these two like the the black and the clear and I used clear on the side and the black one on this side and I think they did pretty good black is very very risky I will tell you right now because if you mess up and you get that on your eye shadow I might not be using black as much but if I mean if I do like a smoky eye or something like that because it just I mean the clear it dries clear so no no so last thing I'm gonna do is go in with my Naked 2 palette and use Foxy as a highlight only because this palette didn't have like that like highlight color that I wanted so for lipstick I'm using my Bobbi Brown Tawny Pink and this was like really hard because I didn't know like what lipstick I should use I didn't know if I should go nude or if I should go more pink but of course I went pink because uh, I, I love pink sorry <laughs> I'm also going to be adding my MAC lip gloss in the color water and then I can't see because the little SKU number is over it but it's in water I think it's D-E-I-T-I-E-S or it's either, it's either an I or an E. Diotines? So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. I love the Master Palette so much and I can't wait to create more looks with it. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!